Hi guys, my name is Firefine. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Timberborn. Now, you might have noticed something straight off the bat. And I did, and it absolutely kills me. <laughs> I put these in the wrong place. <laughs> one's out and one's in. Oh man, my life. Anyways, also, you might have noticed the camera's a bit further out, which is a new mod that I've installed because... We need to see this thing in all its glory, especially with the next few projects that we're going to be doing. So let's just talk about what we're doing in this episode first. So if you missed the last episode, we built this lovely little castle thing. Got a great idea uh, from a comment to put campfires inside. And you know, I was pretty much thinking that sort of idea because it would add that sort of glow, add the light, you know, add something just to see in there. I think that's going to be pretty amazing so we are going to do that in this episode um and also if you didn't see the last episode or you didn't reach to the end of the last episode from monday i will be away for a week but there'll be pre-recorded episodes i will still be replying to the comments so do feel free to comment but yes it will be pre-recorded so i won't be talking about any of your comments in that two episode but guys hope you enjoyed them episodes so it's gonna be fun so what are we doing in this episode? We can finally move on to what we're doing in this episode. We are going to be make, starting our first ring around this castle. Now it's going to be a ring, a wall ring that's going to be inspired, inspired by Attack on Titans. I showed an image of it in the last episode. Here it is again, just in case you didn't see that. And we're going to start pretty much working on the first ring because that ring is going to include a farming area. Now we've got to make a big enough farm that it's going to be able to su supply us with bread for 2000 plus beavers. Because remember, this is a challenge to destroy my FPS. So we are going to have to go. I want to come out about here, I think. Pretty far, go all the way around here. And that would be the inner ring of farming area. And that's the reason why I got this camera mod, because we do need to see more of it the first thing we'll need to do though the first thing we'll need to do is sort out this entrance area now this is our big main gate area and i like it like i really like this view like you see them walking you see them having a great old time now how are we going to elevate that how are we going to make that look even better i was thinking having some sort of bridges here or something so we're gonna we're gonna figure that out now you know that's what we're gonna do we're gonna start figuring that out right this second now what bridges do we have so we have something like that but I'm gonna pause it because I don't want them to start building now that kind of covers the um the waterfall and I kind of want to keep the waterfall there I think it's going to be a nice little um, a nice little design to have the waterfall there. So what we could do instead. Okay, I think I have it. This spiral staircase was actually really difficult to use until you know what you're doing. <laughs> but I kind of like the fact that they're going to be sort of walking down in the waterfall. I think that looks okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to lock that bit so it makes it a bit more even and then that could all lead on to this whole farming district which i think is going to be pretty damn cool okay so i think oh there's a <laughs> a stray levy there or decoration cube huh. okay never mind so i think we need to get this built we need to start deforest in this area and start leveling it out so first of all let's get all of this cleared up okay with that all gone we can finally take a look at what we're dealing with so let's get down here this is a two-layer mountain i got rid of a mountain here already i do want to bring it down a level so i do want to keep it at around this level yeah, we're going to try and level this up out as much as possible. So this is actually going to be a much bigger project than I anticipated. 
but I'm here for it, man. Let's do it. Let's let's have fun. Let's enjoy ourselves. Let's take our time and let's design the best colony ever. All right, so we need to get a district down here. Uh, and it's going to be like literally, it's going to be the most uh, normal, easy to make district, the simplest district. We're going to send, we're going to uh, automatically migrate beavers over to here. Now, I may need another breeding pod because we're not really uh, having enough workers here and we're going to need a distribution center to send stuff down here. So berries are seeming okay. So I think another breeding pod will be a-okay. And you know, what? while we're here, let's pause it. Let's get some uh, campfires in here. If we do something like that, then we can have this go around like this into there. And hopefully we should be able to see some of the glow, which would be absolutely amazing. Okay, with them two added, this is literally all I need. This is be all and end all of this little district here. All we need to do now is connect it up and we can do that right here. We delete these pathways and get them like that. Lovely. And then we just go like that. And there you have it. Everything is in the place it's meant to be. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. You get the glow. You get the glow. It seems alive. You know what? When we get more beavers in there. Oh no, it's all on fire. That's really nice. I wish there was a, a bit brighter glow though, but that is good as it is. And I've just realized something. This. <laughs> Why do I do this all the time? Oh my days. Let's uh get that sorted. Like that. I did finish this side. So that is absolutely amazing. Can't believe I'm making these mistakes. Rookie mistakes, I tell you. Rookie mistakes. All right, let's finish that off. All right, excellent. So yeah, so we're gonna get beavers in here. We're gonna start uh, destroying all of this and we're gonna start destroying this. So I'll see you guys in a bit. And just like that, we are all done. Now, the next thing we need to do is get this all started. Now, it has taken quite a bit of time. So I'm hoping to, at least in this episode, get this little bit done and get the curve going so we can just see how things are going to be. Now, I think, I think, and this is going to be for the next episode, right? We need to get into robots because the robots, the golems, whatever you want to call them, are going to be so much more efficient <laughs> and so much faster that I think it will be a lot better and what we're going to do is go over here and make a little robot outpost for now just help us build this whole place out because this took a while anyways so as you can see i've already started it here we do need to get up here and start blowing this bit up i have got nearly 300 dynamite so that's not too much of an issue and this doesn't need to blow up because it's on the same level actually i'm gonna fill out this whole thing with uh, dirt at some point. We do need to blow up this bit here. Now, what I'm gonna do, I've left this bit open. So I've started playing this out, right? I've left this bit open because I wanna put a ladder in here and make a little doorway so they can get up. So let's start blowing this bit up, to be honest. And while they do that, we can carry on with how this is gonna look. So the main thing I am worried about, or not worried about, I want to focus on is making this curve because it's going to be something like this, right? But on a bigger scale. Okay, so that would look a bit like so. It's not too bad. Mm, do I need the extra line here? I don't think I do. But it kind of looks better with the extra line, doesn't it? It makes it look a bit thicker. 
if I was to take that away, because it's not the same as this one here, and we'd have to put one piece right here. Yeah, that looks absolutely fine. Okay, and then we just need to scale up. Now, I think this height of the wall is pretty good because then it doesn't overshower, uh, overshadow this castle in the background here. And then we just got to think about this last bit here. So I'm going to build this up and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so this is pretty much what it's going to look like. Obviously, without all the aesthetics and uh, looking good pieces. But I think the door is going to be about here. And it's going to go around. We're going to have another section here of this. Another one here. And we might not do one here because there's not enough space there, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, they're going to take a long time to do that. So I'm going to get all of this done. I think we won't be able to redesign more of it until next episode. But that is going to be, it's going to be massive. It's going to be massive. It's going to be crazy. And I'm looking forward to it. Now, let's just finish this off before I let it do its thing. So what I wanted to do here is get some dynamites here, just like that. We're going to make them do this first because this is more important. Because once they get up here, we'll be able to build out a lot of this. I should, in fact, start making some support for them to get up here and start building it out. So if we do something like that. There's going to be this in the middle. Is that the right height? No, it's not. But that is absolutely fine. You can just do that. And how much more do we need? A number two. Okay. And I mean a number two levy, not other things. <laughs> um, okay, so. This, this is too high there. Excellent. Now they can't actually build all these ladders, so we're gonna have to, <clears throat> excuse me. So they can't actually build all these ladders, so we're gonna have to actually build some scaffolding for that as well. Let's detonate this, detonate this, get rid of this, find one more detonator here, put that high priority, and then we're just gonna build up some how would i do this easily i could just do something like this put this here and this like that and that can go oh oh need to go one back That could go like that. They can build all of that and then they can start using that path in. We can do this just to make sure that they've got room to go there. Get this done. We need to actually put path in up here. So that they can actually go and do stuff. Now this is the hard part. <laughs> it's going to be a zigzag unfortunately. But... That is how the game is designed. That's how we're going to do it. Bung that like that. Okay, so this bit is done. So now we actually can have a little ladder inside and this is going to actually be part of the wall so that they can go in there whenever they want. And that reminds me, I need to actually delete this because I want to make an overpass. So it would be something like that. And they can get in there. Lovely jubbly. Love it. Then we just need to make a way for them to build all of this. So let's get 
that done. And then right here. Okay, with all of that done, they should be carrying on with that. And we should be pretty much done soon. So again, I'll see you guys in a sec. And there you have it in all its glory. Now we are gonna move this eventually um, when we get better pathing, but it's looking rather big. These are gonna be the door entries here and it's gonna go all the way around. It's, it's gonna be massive, it's a massive project. So I think that is all we can get done in this episode because this took forever. <laughs> but in the next episode, I've got a plan. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna start setting up some robots because robots will make the process so much faster. They work 24 seven. And yeah, I don't believe they need that much maintenance. So we're gonna have like a, a team of like 10, just, just like doing everything we can. We also need to get dirt, which will help out in terraforming these little nooks and crannies, you know, so we can start making a proper area to farm in. So guys, Thank you so much for joining me on this episode. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.